Hey everybody, it's Miss A and I'm here with a video for step-by-step -step expectations. So um, this is the process that we are learning today. Let's talk about our essential question, which is why are step-by-step -step directions needed in the STEM process? And that is part of their journal entry um, that needs to be done. So why are step-by-step directions needed for the STEM process. So I'll go ahead and write the essential question there. We'll start off with that. Um, now, when we talked about step-by-step -step directions, and I'll show you some of the things that we did. So journal entry requirements. We'll start there first so that, they, that you know automatically what I need. Journal entry requirements. So there's no question. And Miss Angelo, I will model a um, journal entry for this because I haven't been getting the best of journal entries. They've been doing the, you've been doing the task, but you haven't been doing the journal entries as well. So I want to make sure I model that. So requirements. First things first is you will need your numbered directions. That's a requirement, and I'll talk about how I want them to look. So that's, that's the first thing that we need. The second thing we need is our, um, let's call it a diary entry about our class discussion. Let's, let's make that three. Number two I want is um, what did you learn from the PowerPoint? Or what did you see in the PowerPoint? What was something that was interesting to you in the PowerPoint? So what was taught in the PowerPoint? Now, that's not everything. It could be one thing. You could talk about how you, you had to take notes. That will help you produce this. You could talk about the video that's going to be in there. Your One thing, what was taught today? So what was taught during the lesson? And then your gyre entry is... Um, about our class discussion. So after we do our PowerPoint, we have that class discussion. What was the class discussion? And the fourth thing is, is to answer your essential question. Answer the EQ. So these are the requirements for the journal entry that we need to have. All right, give me just a moment. We will look at the PowerPoint. All right. So here we have our PowerPoint. Um, it starts off with um, why are step-by-step -step directions needed in the STEM process? Now, in this PowerPoint, I have underlined everything that is pertinent or important to um, be written down. You do not have to write down the entire thing, but if you want to, you can. Directions, um, direction steps need to be numbered. So I put a right on top of there, these are must, they must be numbered. You must indicate a direction that includes um, making sure that the process is done five times. And step number one is always Gather your materials. So step-by-step -step directions. Scientists record each and every step. We can't forget a step um, in their experiment so that they may replicate the experiment and get similar results. And we discussed the definition of replicate, and that should actually be in your journal entry. So I'm going to add that. Um, well, you should have notes in there, obviously and then replicate should be in there. Based on all the discussion we had today, let's begin our step-by-step -step directions together. Where should we begin? And we should begin with our first step is gather materials and it is always, always, always our first step. And then this is where you were given a log stop time. So there is a video in here. I will show it in class. It is up on my YouTube page if you wanna see it again. Um, but it is available for you to get an idea of the purpose behind those step-by-step -step directions. So there is a task that you guys will do, and it is follow directions. I will give you a set of directions, and you will try to draw what I'm expecting using that first set of directions, and then we will try it again and you will see if you can give me what I want using the second set of directions. And we did that in class, and you can try it with a family member if you'd like. And then there are two sample, or there is a sample of the directions. You can see that they are numbered. 
And then there is the part about the class discussion and what they did. So you see how that's in there? I have added you need to answer the essential question because it really is um, important to what we've learned. Please remember that step-by-step -step directions are like a recipe. If I forget to mention that I need flour in my cake recipe, I will not have cake, I will have sugar soup. Anyone who reads um, them should be able to duplicate your experiment and get the same or similar results. And here's another page where I have underlined things that are important. Directions need to be clear. They need to be very specific and to the point, and you need to make sure that you indicate how many times you need to do it. And so you can write repeat steps blank through blank. If you're doing the, if you're replicating the same thing, you can do that. And then there is time for you to work, and we probably had class discussion about some of the directions that were involved. All right, so let's go back to our paper here just to go over. You should have, and let me put here, you should have notes from class, which you always have. You should have number directions, what was taught today through the PowerPoint, um, your diary entry about our class discussion, and you need to answer your EQ. These are the expectations for um, the journal entry. All right, I am here to um, model an example of a journal entry. So obviously we would have the date. So there would be notes and some of the notes that were in the PowerPoint were, let me get there. So these are musts. Directions should be numbered. Must include five trials and step number one, step one, always gather materials. So this is an example of a portion of the notes that we would have taken from class. Now let's talk about um, the lesson today. So today from the PowerPoint, I learned step one is always gather materials. It could be something as simple as that. Uh, you could talk about the video that's in there. You could talk about the drawing that you did. Um, you could talk about um, different things in here. So this is just one example of something that I learned from the PowerPoint. Now, during our class discussion, we dot, dot, dot. What did we do during our class discussion? You need to tell me about it. If today we were able to come up with directions one through six, we as a class came up with directions one through six. My partner and I have to finish the rest. Very simple as during class, this is what we talked about and tell us what we talked about. You don't have to list it out in detail. And then we must have afterwards, so this is like the class discussion. So let me go back to my list of things that are required. It said I have to have notes. Number directions, uh, what was taught today, journal entry, and answer EQ. Okay, so we need to have the directions. Direction number one, gather materials. Number two, dot, dot, dot. Okay, there's that. And now um, I learned directions are needed because, dot, 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 tell me why you learned those directions. All right, I hope this video helps. It gets you um, organized. We need to make sure we're including full uh, journal entries. Thanks for watching, everybody.